My name is Sherrick Hughes. I am an associate professor. I'm also the coordinator of the Cultural Studies and Literacies program, which is a new graduate program here in the School of Education. My research focuses on four areas primarily. One is critical race studies and black education. The other is interdisciplinary foundations of education. Uh, another area is the social context of schooling, including both urban and rural schools. And then finally, qualitative and mixed methods, um, and particularly heavy on the qualitative and mixed methodologies, both including the study of how we do qualitative research in education. I'm really excited about one a project that I completed that is part of the critical race studies and black education part of my piece is a, a book uh, titled The Evolving Significance of Race. And that book was just released in the spring semester of 2012. In that book, I was happy because I was able to assemble a very diverse group of authors talking about how race had evolved in both their, in, in really three areas, in their living, learning, and teaching. Uh, authors included black, Latino, Asian, uh, members from the gay, lesbian community, uh, folks who were also bilingual, and how race may be involved in that, and religion. A um, um, woman in particular um, discussing the racialization of Muslim women and her experiences of race. And so it was uh, unique in the way of having all of those folks in one book, and they really blew me away with, with their stories. And I think it offers some information that's quite instructive, uh, both for folks who are interested in critical race studies, but also in education policy as well. The project that I'm currently working on relates more to the social context of school piece. Um, I've been working on through a seed grant that I had from the University of Maryland um, before I arrived here recently to develop an implicit association instrument for educators and particularly for leaders in education. Um, and what implicit association is, the idea is that it gets at some of the implicit biases that we may have. Uh, and, and part of it, my reason I was interested in that is under the social context of schools is the major issue of disproportionality of youth being disproportionately placed uh, in special education, disproportionately not recommended for gifted programs, disproportionately given harsher disciplinary actions, and, and three groups tending to be the groups that are affected disproportionately, those being blacks, Latinos, and the impoverished. Why am I excited to be back at Carolina? Well, I was born and raised in Camden, North Carolina, which is northeastern North Carolina. It's about 30 minutes or inland from the Outer Banks um, near Kitty Hawk and Max Head and those things. I grew up actually cleaning hotel rooms up there at Ramada Inn and the first flight in motel. Uh, I'm excited to be back home. Uh, it's one I'm the first and only of the seven children that my parents had that actually loved North Carolina and rooted for the Tar Heels growing up, that actually had the opportunity to both attend uh, North Carolina as a student and now to return as a faculty member. And I, my hope is that I can make some contributions uh, to the university and to the School of Education and to the state uh, in the similar ways that the faculty members who taught me when I was here.